Now it's time for the do-it-yourself exercise and your task right now is to compare top five states by sum of sales uh, with the other states that we have in here and we will do this of course by using sum of sales. What is the sales belonging to the best five states and what are uh, the other states delivering to, to us? Uh, try to do it on your own using the grouping uh, in pivot table and then check together with me. The solution for that, let's insert a new pivot table and then let's check what actually are the top five uh, states in here. So we need the state field and sales and the data we uh, actually want in this uh, pivot table should be sorted by state to see what are the top uh, states versus the uh, others. Right now it's time for the uh, grouping operation. I select manually five elements in here and I group the data to create a new group. You can see all other elements uh, are actually exactly the same as, uh, as they were, but because I have the state two and state one uh, field right now on the row shelf, it might be a bit misleading. So I will uh, remove uh, just uh, for a moment the second state uh, from rows just to see that I have a group one right now and all the other remaining states. This is my top five states uh, name and right now I can actually group all the other elements uh, all the remaining into uh, the other group and I can rename it as the other uh, right now you can see the division but if your uh, audience would like to also see what are the state names you can right now bring back the uh, state name uh, to your uh, pivot table for example to the rows shelf and you can right now see the rank uh, you can see that top five states uh, are responsible for more than half of the sales we have in this uh, data source. Uh, one of the challenges you might face inside your uh, grouping operations is that the names of the groupings but also the names of the fields you give can disappear if you insert a new pivot table. The new pivot table of course is going to share exactly the same pivot cache but if you uh, go back right now to for example your state field you can see that the uh, previous names uh, disappear. So to avoid this kind of situation, a better way of course is always to copy uh, a pivot table and to paste it to make sure the names for your groups like top five states or the other, but also the names of uh, your uh, new fields like state number two is my top five states versus the other group uh, to, to make them uh, exist also in the uh, new versions of your pivot table.